Gonna have a nice good breakfast to start off the day so we can do some projects. Olivia is not a fan of bacon and eggs, and I don't know why. It's that age. <laughs> yeah, more for us. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I've ever really had vegetables with my breakfast before. Oh, then maybe in an omelet. We get to check and see what the concrete countertop looks like. I'm nervous. You're nervous? Uh -huh. You never know. Like it? I do. I didn't know how I'd like Brussels sprouts for breakfast, but they're good with egg yolk. Brussels are good anyway. Yep, big girl wants to join too. Put it under the table. It's a family affair. What are you doing under there? I got something you might like. Pluto. Hey, coffee's not for cats. What do you think you're doing up there, mister? It's not a cat perch. You gonna play for us while we take the concrete form apart? Yeah. Here goes nothing. I think it's gonna, how's it gonna look? Uh, nervous? I'm not nervous. You'll make it look good if it doesn't look good. Yeah, hopefully it looks good without us having to do any sanding. Worst case scenario, we'll have to sand it and fix it up. It's got a fancy light on it. it does. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. Can you reuse those? Yeah, I can reuse the screws. Break it. It's just silicone. It's the test. Can we get the foam off? And how is it gonna look? Wah, wah, wah. So how come you made it thicker than the last one? Because the last one had a base of plywood underneath it to support. So this one I wanted to make it thicker because we weren't doing plywood under it to hold it. Mm -hmm. So it's coming off easy though? Yep, I was hoping it would. I'm just curious of how the texture is. Yeah, I don't know how. You're probably gonna have to sand. Use the light sand. It's green. <gasps> What happened to the concrete? It turned green, Olivia. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's right. What'd you do? I don't know. I, I colored it. You colored it? Mm. Oh, there we go. It's just sticking where the silicone is. Your silicone was just to get the stick to the. Silicone was just because I had to glue it. Cut there to glue it. Yeah. And then I got the silicone on the bottom. Give it a nice edge.
stuff that is sticking is the top concrete to it and the silicone. So hopefully it comes off the bottom. How are you gonna do it? I don't know. We gotta just try. <laughs> See if we can slide it this way and then flip it. Foam it all. How do you do you need my help? I don't think so. I'd rather not have you help. Oh, well, I'm fine with that. I'm not gonna hurt somebody. I just want to speak myself. Well, I don't want you to be hurt. I don't want to hurt somebody else, too. Why would you get hurt? I don't know. All right, ready? What are you gonna do? Pick it up. Oh. Now what? I think you can get it up the stairs by yourself. I no, please don't. <laughs> I don't want to. Come on, Libby. I'm right here. I don't see what I'm doing. It's rougher than what I was hoping. Oh no, it says Lowe's on it. Well, let's go up the sand it. Well, so, I mean, there's a lesson. Don't put the low side up. Well, yeah, that's going to get... Where did it say Lowe's? Right there. I like the edge. <laughs> See the lowest side? Oh yeah, this is the lowest side. Are you going to be able to get that out? Yeah, because we're going to have to make... Are you sure this isn't Rose's desktop? It's not. It's like a quarter round. I like that. I really see it on the camera. But you can see the lows. But if you were going to use it next time, you learn a lesson, you would turn it around. The reason why I didn't have it this side up Go to oh, because there's a dent. It says everything about Lowe's. It does. You're going to sand it outside. Yeah. Then you got to carry it out. Well, I'll, why I'm leaving it on the plywood, I can drag it to the door, and then I'll get the oh. tractor. And I'll send it on the bucket of the tractor. Of course. And then I can move the, the tractor. Why would you not? In ratchet straps. I know, but only <laughs> if we could drive the Kubota in the house. Well, what were you thinking? You should have made a different door. And we could have set it in place of the Kubota. This is a tip. Always make your doors big enough for Kubota to get in. Tractor. It's nice and flat and smooth. I'm very happy with that. So now we just kind of give it, give it like a polish finish. back aside. We're gonna have to get we're gonna have to borrow a variable speed grinder and the grinding attachments to smooth this out. So to finish this up will be another day's project. But don't worry, we have another DIY project we've been working on. We'll start on that one next. Oh I found more stuff. See? Oh man, look at all that concrete dust. You like this view, don't you, for some reason? You can see everything. So this is our cute little bookshelf. It's kind of filled up. It was under our TV. And Gina decided we need more shelf space. This is what we came up with using some crates, but we want to paint them. So we painted this one on the back side. We did some antiquing and came up with what we liked. So now we got to take this apart, bring it in the basement, and get it ready because that will look nice over all those. So we got these at Home Depot, I think. Yeah. They had a pretty good deal on them, but they're kind of rough, so what we want to do first is just quickly sand any sharp edges, and then on the inside, handles. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we just want to clean that stuff up.
pour into that. <laughs> I was just okay, about ready to do wide. that. It is very wide. Let me take the party. So the good thing about having a bunch of different projects going on right now, they're all ones that take so many steps in drying processes. At least we can be doing one while one of the other one's drying. That's for sure. I have to build, and I got some of the stuff to build, a chick brooder, because Mr. Figaro, I don't think it's going to be good with chicks. And we got our first batch of chicks coming the end of February, beginning of March. I think they'll probably get here maybe March 1st, after they ship out. We'll be getting some new egg layers. So I've got to make sure that brooder is built before they come. That's why you got the new tools, not for me. I had to finish up yours before I could do mine. Oh, sure. Your, my tools broke on your project. Your, sure. your project broke them. It's all your fault. Right. Yeah, I'll blame it on someone. I'll blame it on you, so that way I feel better about buying new tools. Smells good. Pork and potatoes and carrots and corn and spinach and nice hearty delicious soup. Olivia, you gonna want butter? Um, no, thank you. So are we finishing up painting the crates or are we just going to town after lunch? I like just go to town but we have a paint out so I don't know what do you think. I don't know. It's a lot of work doing those crates. I know that. It's time consuming. Monotonous. Yeah. Time consuming, yes. I don't know. Let's see how we feel after lunch. Okay. I'll do whatever you say. Okay. Was this the last of the soup? No. I don't know if this is enough for a whole other meal or not. Pretty good though because all right you ready to go finish up some more yeah. yep i think we made some pretty good headway oh. no, a little bit longer I We calling it? We're gonna call it. Alright, we're gonna go to town. We're gonna go do some walking on Main Street. Go to a shop, we'll have some fun. Get some paint on my face. We got one and a half coats on six of them. Okay. Doing pretty good. We'll come back to finishing them up maybe tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs> Let's go have some fun and enjoy the nice weather. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Lumna Acres, A-God, Tomorrow Homestead, Self-Sufficiency, and Freedom. Bye. Bye. Bye.